Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine Amos, the CEO and Project Manager, Sunshine Resources. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make transparent bar soap at home. And so if you are new to this channel, I suggest you hit the subscription button so that you do not miss any of our videos each time we upload them. Transparent bar soap or tablet soap is known for its attractiveness due to the transparency. It becomes more beautiful when you build the transparent soap on an elegant shape of a soap and then you can crown it all with a charming fragrance. In this video piece, I will take you through the step-by-step -step process of how to make transparent tablet soap at home. But before we go through the main process, let's go through the safety precautions you will take as you do this preparation. Avoid direct contact of chemicals with the skin or eyes. Keep all chemicals out of which are children and do not taste any chemical. Transparent bar soap or tablet soap can be made from the following materials. These are coconut oil, caustic soda, also known as lye, glycerin, propylene glycol, perfume, distilled water and ethanol. You also need a thermometer to be able to measure the temperature at regular intervals. Now let's establish the quantity of materials needed to produce about 200 gram of transparent bar soap. Coconut oil, 100 gram, which is 125 ml. Caustic soda, 20 gram. Glycerin, 50 ml. Propylene glycol, 80 ml. Perfume, 30 ml. Distilled water, 50 ml. And ethanol, 20 ml. Now these are the materials. This is pure coconut oil. This one here is caustic soda. This is glycerine. And then this is propylene glycol. This is perfume. And this is distilled water. This is ethanol. And um, this is mercury thermometer. And these are improvised mold. Now the first thing you should do is to dissolve the caustic soda in distilled water. So here we have 20 gram of caustic soda and we will dissolve it in 50 ml of distilled water to form the lye solution.
Now add the caustic soda to the coconut oil. Now the coconut oil is in a plastic container placed over hot water in a pot. This is done to maintain the temperature of the mixture. We are keeping the temperature of this reaction between 40 and 65 degrees centigrade. It should not go below 40 and should also not go below 65. We keep monitoring the temperature as soon as it hits 40 degrees centigrade we will heat up the pot in order to take the temperature high. Um, in the course of the heating when it get to 65 we'll bring it down from the fire in order to keep the temperature at normal range. Now keep stirring the content of the pot until all the oils have been emulsified by the caustic soda. It's going to form a white smooth substance which is the soap. Now bulk of the job you're going to be doing in this preparation is the stirring of the gel until it solidifies. Now as you can see all the oil and the caustic soda have been turned into a white solid soap. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is to add glycerin to the pot content and we continue stirring. Now after 10 minutes you can add your propylene glycol to the pot content also. Now keep stirring until all the white soapy substance becomes a gel. This is very important you have to keep stirring until all the white soapy substance becomes a gel. And also keep the temperature between 40 and 65 degrees centigrade. This is also very important for the dissolution of the white soapy substance into the gel. Also note that the process of dissolving the white soapy substance into the gel takes quite some time so you need to be patient. This is also to emphasize that you need to keep the temperature of the gel between 40 and 65 degrees centigrade. Temperature above 65 degrees centigrade will make the gel to be darker.
as you can see the dissolution is almost completed and um, now you can add your perfume to the gel Now pour the gel into a mold and allow it to stand for about 72 hours. Now spray the ethanol on the surface of the soap to pop up any bubbles that is formed on the surface of the soap. And now ladies and gentlemen, this is our final product, our transparent bar soap. Here it is thin because our mold is very large. It's about 200 gram of transparent bar soap. So thank you very much for watching and God bless you if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our website on www.sunshineresources.org.ng. You can visit our YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash c forward slash sunshine resources srtv. You can also follow us on our Facebook page on Sunshine Resources. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.